Hey guys, Will Verger here, and today I wanted to give a more in-depth look at our latest Impact Soundworks library, Vocalisa Slavic Women's Choir. To start us off, let's have a look at the main interface. Here we have master patches with a selection of sustained syllables and ornaments. There's two ways to switch between the syllables, grid mode, where users can create patterns of syllables and ornaments to be triggered automatically, and key switch mode, where users trigger them manually. Here's a passage using grid mode, So as you can see, grid mode is great for very quickly getting some ideas down. Note that you can select patterns through key switches here. And uh, you can also copy, paste, and clear patterns as well using the interface. And now here's a passage using key switch mode. Key switch mode is recommended for more advanced users who want direct control. It's especially useful because we have an additional function within key switch mode that involves the sustain pedal. Uh, if you hold down the pedal and have notes held down as well, pressing a key switch will re-trigger the notes using that syllable or ornament. Uh, because of some of the editing we do under the hood, this allows for more seamless transitions between syllables than if you were to just use separate notes. Here's a passage using that sustain pedal re-triggering feature. Continuing in the UI, we also have a mixing page. Here we've placed the most commonly used effects for easy access without having to dig into the patch, uh, with typical settings already loaded for EQ and compression and so on. Uh, you can even tone down the natural release tails on the samples or remove them altogether. Uh, I personally recommend experimenting with expanding the stereo image to suit your tastes. Uh, it defaults at zero, but once again, right on this UI, you can take it uh, about as high as you want. Lastly, on the UI, we have a syllable tweak page for the staccatos and the master patches. Uh, this is a particularly valuable tool. Uh, it lets users tweak the timing, volume, and brightness of every syllable and ornament separately. Uh, we've taken several passes at volume and tone balancing all of our content, but in certain situations, users may need to adjust a single syllable for improved blending and transitions for that particular song. So now I'd like to talk a little bit more about the content itself, as we have quite a wide range. Uh, so far, you've heard sustains and ornaments, but we also have staccatos, breaths, and a range of effects. Uh, here's a quick playthrough of those. So to start us off, here's some staccatos. We also have various rhythmic shouts. We have breaths for each individual section, as well as on the full choir and the soloist. The sectionals all have unpitched consonants as well. And for the full choir, we recorded hand claps and stomps too, again with multiple velocities and five times round robin. And finally, I wanted to play through a bit of my demo track. I did an arrangement of the piece Making of Cyborg from the movie Ghost in the Shell. Uh, you can hear the full track on our website, but I wanted to highlight the sound of individual sections for this walkthrough video. You'll see that I use the key switch mode for all of these as it allows for a bit more direct control. Uh, I also placed in some breaths for added realism. So let's take a listen. Here's the Sopranos. 
Netsos. Altos. Well, that's it. Thanks again for watching our more in-depth walkthrough of Vocalisa. Uh, to read more about the library, please go to impactsoundworks.com. Thanks for watching.